practitioner job with no interview I mean obviously they know me but like I didn't have to go through any process no one ever makes me feel the way This is like your worst nightmare. Do you guys see that? Do y'all see that? Something leaked. Uh, oh. This is why like I keep I keep my stuff in like a compartment in case something like this happened. I wonder what spilled. Anyways, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Michelle here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button and join this family here. Guess who's back from Europe? Moi. I didn't go to French again country, but me. <laughs> I am back, you guys. I spent how long? Like a week and a half there. Um, you know, there are things that I will definitely talk to you guys about as time progresses, but know that my trip was only by god's grace <laughs> only by god's grace i give him credit for everything and i'm just so grateful that i was able to visit and to return safely <sighs> i feel like i'm always like talking about god and honestly it's all he's literally all i got and i want to share something with you guys right y'all remember my life update video and where I addressed some questions with my nurse practitioner degree. As you guys know, I'm a nurse practitioner, but currently not using that degree. I'm using my RN right now. And I'm very, very comfortable there. I, I, I am. I'm very comfortable with my RN degree. It's flexible, great compensation, you know, and everything I want, right? But there comes a point in time in where, you know, you do have to, to, to switch things up. And for me, I was telling you guys that I did not want to use that degree this year. And, you know, I had this whole plan. And I want to share the scripture with you guys. Proverbs 19 verses 21. I think Proverbs 19, 21. Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it's the Lord's purpose that prevails. Um, so I just wanted to share how faithful God is, how good God is. So many months ago when i was doing my practicum and stuff i worked at a clinic and you know even getting a spot a practicum site at that place was a testimony in itself long story short at my job my nursing job i met a resident who um, helped me out basically i was just conversing with him telling him that i'm a nurse practitioner student you know i'm looking for practicum sites you know i'm searching but i haven't found any like he literally was like michelle i got you and i'm like what do you mean you got me so it turns out his parents owned a a, a clinic his mom is a doctor um he's a doctor as well but his mom was a doctor and so they allowed students at their clinic so he was like yeah i got you so he connected me to that clinic site his mom's practice and i basically did most of my practicum there oh i'm getting winded guys i'm sorry this is why i need to go to the gym well we'll get to that we'll get to that but anyways he connected me to the practice and i did most of my clinics there you know great family i learned a lot great opportunity i did my hours there i graduated school all of that but literally y'all god i just i'm just so amazed how he works like a month or two ago i was having a random conversation with somebody about the son the resident that connected me to his parents practice and i was like oh yeah you know this guy you know he's a great guy blah 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 i kid you not literally a minute after i was like raving and just like commending the guy the resident he walks by and mind you he's he's done with residency so like the odds of me seeing him at that hospital was just very, very slim. But anyways, he shows up and I'm like, I was just talking about you. And he's 
like, yeah, oh my gosh, it's so nice to see you. You know, I gave him a hug. Like, we're talking, we're talking. And he's like, yeah, my mom misses you, la da da And I was like, yeah, you know, I graduated my, with my MP. I passed my boards. You know, just keeping him up to date on what, what's been happening in my life. And he was like, yo, you know, I'm going to go tell my mom, like, da 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 And I was like, oh, yeah. But we just caught up. So when I was in Ghana, you guys, I received a text message from this number. And I'm like, hey, who is this? Mind you, I'm in Ghana. So like, and also the person called me. But I didn't, you know, I didn't pick up because I was in Ghana. She then tells me that she is the doctor that I did my clinical practic practicum with. And I was like, oh my gosh, doctor, let's call her Sanders. Okay, her name was not Sanders, let's call her Sanders. But yeah, she's like, yeah, it's Dr. Sanders. Um, how are you? And I'm like, oh my gosh, Dr. Sanders, um, I'm well. Sorry I did not pick up your call. I'm in Ghana right now. You know, blah, blah, blah. Sorry about that. She's like, you know what? When you get back from Ghana, hit me up. And I was like, oh, okay. So I get back from Ghana. She's like, Michelle, are you back? I was hesitant in responding to her because I knew what was coming. So anyway, she was, she texted me again. She's like, Michelle, are you back? And I'm like, yeah, I am. You know, um, please let me know when you're available so I can call you. So then she sends over her availability. I call her and she offers me a nurse practitioner job with no interview. I mean, obviously they know me, but like I didn't have to go through any process she just offers me a job and you know luckily i've been with them before so like i know how they work i know how they relate to their employees i know things and i was just so amazed because i just felt like that was god in a way i didn't even have to try you guys i did not even have to try and i was just telling y'all that i was considering actually using my np degree because how crazy work had been and so I haven't officially like told her, yes, I want to accept the job because I'm currently still in my RN contract right now and I'm so comfortable. I am so comfortable with flexibility. Like me going to the UK right now, imagine me going to Ghana, UK. I can't do it with a routine structured nine to five. Oh, pray for me guys. So I'm like, I have yet to like, I mean, I've, did I accept the job? I have yet to like, you know, fully accept the job because I still have so much to do, but I might be using my NP degree sooner than I thought. And I don't know how to feel about that. But anyways, I'll, all this to say is God is so faithful and you guys pray for me to make a decision because yeah, I have to. Um, anyways. That was a lot of talking, but we're here. Today's Sunday, oh my God, I didn't tell y'all. Time is almost eight, the sun is setting. It's so beautiful outside. I do wanna unpack, like I'll be so proud of myself if I can unpack today. Like I wanna do laundry, so I'm gonna do some laundry, unpack my bags. But yeah, God is so good. Hmm, hmm. God is very faithful anybody going through a tough season know that the sun always shines the things i've been able to do this year alone i never thought would have been possible for me because i've been i've been in those dark times like 2023 2022 were some tough years for me and just to see what god is doing i'm just so amazed guys so amazed but i just want this to encourage you know that god is faithful whatever it is that you're praying for whatever it is that you he knows you need he'll bring it to you he got you continue trusting him he's real and he's very faithful and despite you know our humanity it doesn't negate his faithfulness okay despite our, our humanity it does not negate his faithfulness he will remain faithful whether you're faithful or not okay no one ever made it. It's a special day, and uh, I just want to take a moment to honor uh, a few people. Uh, uh, I want to first honor uh, the woman who I know had great faith, who um, I tell this story all the time because it changed my life when I understood its impact. Um, and she watches from North Carolina uh, every Sunday. The woman who the doctor told her she would never have children because she had a damaged cervix and 
that the doctor said it was impossible uh, for her to have kids, uh, yet she was a woman of faith. Uh, she was a woman uh, of the word. And she went home and laid her hands on the prayers of Hannah and believed God for a son. And she told God, if you give me a son, I will give him back to you and I will consecrate him to you. And, uh, and so I want to honor the great woman of faith who I think is one of the greatest mothers I know. Personally, my mother, Sharon Mitchell. Y'all, so the living room is cleared, laundry's running. Um, yeah, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Um, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. No. Guys, guess where I'm at? So, I told you guys that it's a new era for me. I'm in my discipline, fitness, healthy lifestyle era. Just a better me era. Um, and I'm very excited about this. I'm at the gym, my first stop. I'm checking out two gyms today. Um, this one's like five minutes from my house. I thought about the convenience, although I think it's a bit smaller. Um, but the convenience is like so great. So I'm about to go see what they're talking about as far as prices and how like how I like it. And if I don't like it, there's another gym that's like 10 minutes away from me that I can go check out. Today is what's day? Monday and it's 11 a.m. ish. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited for this new phase, you guys. And I want this to be very helpful for all of us. If you guys are exiting your lazy girl era as well, I want y'all to come on this journey with me. Like, I want us to be our best selves, literally. Like, I don't want you guys just watching me do these new lifestyle changes that I'm starting. But I want it to impact whoever else wants to do this with me. So I can't wait to share, like, the, the workouts, the the lifestyle changes, the foods, all of that. So anyways, I'm excited. Um, let's go check out this gym and see what they're talking about. And if I like it, I will work out today with them. If not, like I said, we will go and check out the other place, but let's go. I am back from checking out the first spot. Um, the gym, and as much as it is convenient, it is smaller, but they do have like other locations around. Um, they do have other locations, but I want to check out this other spot first before I commit to anything. And, oh man, why am I doing that? Luckily for me, they did say that they could offer me like a free seven day trial to see if I like it, if it's a good fit for me before I commit to it. So that's something I could do if I'm like still on the verge after the seven days, then um, I can just not commit to it but before i sign any contract and start paying money i'm gonna go check out this other place but overall the gym was just smaller they don't have a pool they don't have a sauna i like saunas <laughs> so i'm like if i'm gonna be paying oh shoot i feel bad if i'm going to be paying i want to you know make sure that i'm getting my money's worth um but yeah let's go check out this other place So I got to check out the different types of memberships they have and I think I'm going to go with this one. Um, it's roughly $50 a month which is not bad and it comes with like monthly body composition scanning, group training and all this other stuff so I think I'll like it. I'm about to go do a quick workout in to really feel, have a feel of it but this will keep me committed and I'm actually very excited so yay! gym guys i feel so good i miss this michelle i don't know i don't know where she went um i feel like a human <laughs> i feel refreshed i'm currently at the grocery store i do want to start eating you know better so so i do want to switch up like the foods i eat so i have like two or three recipes i want to try out for the week and meal prep so 
But yeah, I'm going to do some grocery shopping and then we can meal prep once I get home. <laughs> Come she come in a caraptor And everybody gets chucked up Please keep up like any doctor When them see the lyrics on the chucked up Come she come in a caraptor And everybody gets chucked up Please keep up like any doctor When them see the lyrics on the chucked up Come she come in a caraptor And everybody gets chucked up Please keep up like any doctor you guys so after all the shopping i did i went to two grocery stores i'm looking for gorgonzola cheese <laughs> and so i'm like okay let's try out audi and close to audi is a nail salon that i used to come to um, and I don't really come here anymore because they don't let me vlog. But I was like, I need this cheese. And I'm like, I might as well kill two birds with one stone. So I should take down my nails. And guess what? I did it. And now I'm free. I was waiting. I couldn't wait to take out those nails, you guys. They were just not giving. But anyways, I'm in Aldi now. Looking for Gorgonzola cheese. <laughs> Three, gro three grocery stores. Home sweet home guys. Time right now is 5 p.m. I've been out for six hours, which is so crazy. But literally after the gym, I did all this errands. I feel disgusting. So I'm gonna go take a shower and then come back and unpack the stuff, do a little mini haul um and then cook meal prep but yeah i just feel like i need to go take a shower so i'm gonna go do that and i will be back you guys i feel so fresh and so clean time right now is 5 30. so i'm gonna just do a little food haul so i am meal prepping this week you guys i believe that i have to be intentional about this if i want to see results and I'm not trying to lose weight. So my main goal of switching up my lifestyle is mainly to be more active, um, gain some strength and some muscle. So I'm switching up my diet, not necessarily to lose weight. I, I don't think I'm like overweight or obese. That's not the point. The point is to implement healthier habits so that I don't become overweight or obese. So I did, ooh. So I'm trying out some new recipes, you guys. I am making um, steak salad and lettuce wrap chicken taco today. And then my dinner would be snails, escargot, African style. I have to maintain the Ghanaian in me. I have to maintain the African in me. So I'm not completely like veering off of my traditional foods, but I'm just like incorporating new things so because of that i did do quite a bit of shopping but and also i'll be juicing you guys um and then mainly that and then new breakfast foods that i want to try out too but you guys will see me prepare all these meals so i'm excited you know it's a new beginning for me i feel like it's a new beginning i don't know why i feel like a, an awakening has happened in my life but i genuinely feel new so i'm happy about that but let me quickly show you guys what I got from the grocery store. Um, I did a mix of my international market and um, Walmart. And then I went to Aldi for that one thing. <laughs> my Bargainzola, whatever that is. But yeah, let me just do a quick haul. Baby spinach, strawberries, blueberries, um, hardy white bread. Bread from Farmhouse, first time trying this. Decided to also get pita chips, tomatoes, iceberg lettuce, red wine vinegar, which I'll be using for the steak, um, plain yogurt, organic peanut butter, pesto, sour cream, basmati rice, the bargainzola, Frozen pineapples, frozen fruits, 
Greek yogurt drink, Chobani, some small tomatoes. What are these called? I don't know, small tomatoes. <laughs> um, potatoes, shallots, red bell pepper, fresh pineapples, lots of ginger, mandarin, romaine lettuce, some lemon, green apples, walnuts, some mushrooms, pepper, Dijon, mustard, I think that's what it's called, extra virgin olive oil, and Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, whatever this is, is going to be used for the steak. Almonds, banana, kale, avocados, peppers, chicken tenderloins, and the steak, fresh onions, minced onion, and then eggs. I bought eggs as well. I don't know where they are, but I bought eggs and then the snails, but I'm going to put all this away guys. And then we will start making the snails and the, hmm. you know what guys, I'm going to make the snails tonight. And then tomorrow I will do the steak because I want it to be fresh um, when I go to work. So yeah. So when I was on my trip in Europe, I tried the best snails, Nigerian, like peppered snails which kind of encouraged what i'm about to do today i am about to make my own um peppered snails i'm watching this video on youtube i will link it if you guys are interested in it but oh my gosh it was so good so i'm glad i found the recipe on youtube um as well so yeah let's get to it i'm about to enjoy some nice peppered snail with rice on the side <laughs> Everybody gets captured. Play it for a get When them see the lyrics and chapter. Some people mean that they're When them see the lyrics and chapter. Some people mean that they're And everybody gets captured. Play it for a get When them see the lyrics and chapter. Some people mean that they're Well, this is the finished product. Bon appetit. I also poured a nice glass of wine. Oh, can't wait to enjoy it. I don't feel like eating here, so I'm going to go eat in the living room while I enjoy a show.
Let's see, what can we watch today? Uh, we are back for a new series. And I really want to, part one, I really want to go into the text of this, like the teaching of this. And so not too much of, you know, I like to add my stories here and there, but what's going to be more powerful for you is the word of God, because, you know, everyone is going to have different perspectives. You guys, I knew sitting here to eat was not a good idea, but I was like, oh, it's my house. I can do whatever I want in my house. If this was my parents' house, my mom would have been like, Michelle, go to the living room, go to the dining room and eat. Don't bring your food to the living room. And guess what I did? Do you guys see this? I spilled my wine. Luckily, it got, I just got on the, on the table and I bought this table from Crate and Barrel. Oh my goodness. You guys. <laughs> At least I ate all my food. But I just knew it was not the best idea to do this here. Oh. But luckily, I bought this. Oh, Jesus, please come on. I bought this table from Crate and Barrel, which is like, you know, usually like really good quality. Oh my God. Oh my goodness gracious! I'm also just glad it didn't get on my carpet. Oh, please come off. This table was so expensive. <laughs> this table was so expensive. Oh my god, please come off. Oh, I have very high hopes that this will come off. Shout out to Crate and Barrel! Thank God. Oh my gosh, I would have cried. It's coming off, guys. Thank you, Lord. Just a bit so pissed. Oh my goodness. Oh. Thank you, Lord. That was such a scary experience. But anyways, you guys, food was great. I enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna probably just, I didn't get to drink my wine. <laughs> um, what was I even gonna say? I forgot what I was even gonna tell you guys, but anyways, I'm gonna just call it a night. Um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. My work schedule this week is um, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm charged both days. And I think Friday, I think, oh, I think Saturday, I'm working on Saturday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday this week, but I'm going to call it a night. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. No one out from today okay. um, and it will be a eight to four time frame um, the drywall people are pretty good at showing up right around 8 a.m. everybody else will have a 8 to 12 window okay. and they just have until 4 o'clock to finish but they'll be done much sooner to your liking before you sign because mm -hmm. once they sign once you sign it's kind of hard to you know get them back here and say hey you missed this spot because mm -hmm. they'll use your signature and right. stuff. Yep. so just kind of look around and just say okay it looks good you know um sign and then we'll be good to go it'll be easy all right it'll, so it'll in two easy. weeks two weeks from today at good morning guys today is tuesday time right now is 10 a.m as you guys overheard um the builder guy um they just went through my house and just checked the drywalls make sure that there was no cracking or anything the thing i had to reschedule yeah <laughs> so i found this omelet recipe guys that i made this morning it's pesto mushroom a pesto mushroom omelet 
Um, I'll try it out. This is my first time making it, so I'm not sure what it tastes like, but I'll definitely let you guys know if it's great. But right now, I just want to juice, you guys. I just want to juice my mandarin, ginger, uh, and then probably add some lemon to it as well. Um, and yeah, I'll do that first. After that, I'm going to the gym at 11. I'm meeting up with a personal trainer. Well, I have my appointment is at 11, so I need to leave the house earlier than that. But I'll be meeting up with my personal trainer, guys. And with that, we're gonna do like a whole body composition analysis to see like what we need to do to get life, you know, going in the right direction. But let's go ahead and juice and then enjoy breakfast, relax a little bit before I head to the workout session. So I went ahead and cut up what I'll be using for the juice this morning, two lemon, a whole like bag of mandarin, also called tangerines, and then some ginger. So this is gonna be my first immune booster. <laughs> Next, I am juicing a green juice. I have kale, pineapple, green apple, and ginger. So this is my healthy shot of a green juice. <laughs> maybe three days and then if I need to make more I will I have like more fruits and stuff but let me go ahead and enjoy my breakfast guys and then we'll head to the gym I'll try to bring the camera but we'll see if they let me record we weighed in at 139.7 pounds mm -hmm. you have 62.4 pounds of skeletal muscle on your body and you're sitting at 20.6 percent body fat this number right here is your water hydration levels. Normal hydration levels are anywhere between 0.36 to 0.39. Being closer to 0.36 is the better range. So you're doing good there. All right. Made it back from the gym, guys. Um, it was a good session. The trainer went over my body composition analysis with me. And honestly, I'm not that bad off. Like, I am not that bad off. Um, I just feel like... I don't know, I just I just need to be more active. That's honestly what all of this is about. But I made it home, I am working tonight. Time right now is 1 p.m. I wanna go ahead and make a quick lunch. I am doing the steak salad. Um, I'll just show it to you guys the next time I make it because I need to go to sleep. Um, so I'm gonna make that and go to sleep, hopefully get a hair video in, but if not, I'll be okay. <laughs> but I am working tonight, so I'll check in with you guys a little later. Time right now is five, almost 6 p.m. actually. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm just putting some curls in my hair really quickly before I head into work. Y'all, I have not been to work in two weeks. Two whole weeks. They have not seen me. Um, which is great because the way I used to be out there, <laughs> I used to work so much, but... It was all because I wanted to slow down like this as the months progressed. So I'm not sure if you guys remember, but in the beginning of the year, I was like, pick up that extra time, pick up that overtime. It was because I wanted us to just like bulk up in the beginning. And then, you know, as the hotter months come, we're like taking vacations. We're just enjoying the hot, warmer weathers. Um, but yeah, y'all, I think I'm charged tonight. And I say I think because they changed the assignments so easily over there. So um, last time I checked, I was charged. Oh, y'all. So I'm done. I have about four minutes to get downstairs. 
Oh my, I just wanted that. I just wanted some volume. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys this hair is bothering me but anyways let me go pack my dinner snacks and i will head out not bad yeah not bad Ooh, i'm all packed y'all i will check with you guys when i get off work tomorrow today is wednesday two out of three i'm charged again Y'all, because I'm filming this YouTube video, this hair video, guys, I'm contemplating on, like, keeping my makeup on for work. I have never worn makeup to work before. Mm, so that could be a start. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. We will see how I feel. And even without makeup, my patients want to harass me. Imagine what makeup on. Imagine. <laughs> you know what let's just do it for one time yeah let's see how it goes i'll let you guys know if my makeup also lasts oh my gosh i'm going for a 12 hour shift i used my one size setting spray so let's see let's see let's see <laughs> don't mind me y'all i'm delirious i could barely sleep after work um last night i think i got a total of like three hours of sleep so i'm a little delirious but it's okay and a little caffeine won't fix i just feel like it just takes me a while especially after my first night even though i'm tired i can't like go to sleep crazy but um i'm gonna finish this hair video i wanted to do this yesterday but i couldn't and we will head into work check in guys Guess who wore makeup to work today? It's giving a face, okay? But um, time right now is midnight. I'm actually about to eat my lunch dinner. Um, shift so far has not been bad. Um, very, very steady. So I'm glad, like, you know, we're still intact. I used the one size, like I said, you guys. And I'm not as oily as I normally am. So it's working. Um, I do have how many more hours? eight more hours to go yeah but i'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my dinner i'm having rice and the escargot that i made the other day but let me get into that you guys i will check in with y'all hopefully tomorrow but we'll see we'll see <laughs> So good. Let me show you guys. Yummy. <laughs> Many hours later, guys. Time is. 5 p.m. on Thursday. It's still Thursday. Um, I got off from work. Oh yeah, my makeup actually did really well. Shout out to that one size. It did really well. But um, I came home, I made breakfast, took a shower, went to sleep, and then I remembered that I had a workout with my personal trainer today. So um, I almost missed it, but I'm like, Michelle, just get up and go. I was so exhausted after work, but I just, I was like, just get up and go. So I came and y'all, my biggest concern with working out was my hair, especially when I have these like frontals on, but let me tell you, I'm not sure if it's cause I didn't really sweat much, but it's still intact. Like I pulled the band down and like, it's still intact. So I'm so glad that I think I might've found a solution to one of my biggest hesitations um i'll check in with you guys tomorrow i'm just gonna go home meal prep a little bit and just do some like really important things that i have to get done but i'll check in with you guys tomorrow good morning guys um today is friday i am on my way i hope you guys can see me um, I'm on my way to my hydrofacial appointment. I'm just a little late, but um, 
I don't, I'm not sure if my girl Rose is doing my hydrofacial today, but I pretty much go once a month. And this is my third month doing it. I'm gonna give it maybe three more months, you guys. And if I don't see like significant changes in my skin, then, um, then I'm like, you know, I try. But yeah, let's get this facial in. No one ever makes me feel the way that you make me feel. products today I got the vitamin C serum and a firming serum um, but my facial tone is really great <laughs> I've spent so much money on skincare this year it's crazy but we're trying to we're trying to get somewhere you know we're trying to get somewhere but let's go ahead and end the vlog here today guys thank you, thank you guys so much for watching per usual I do have a lash appointment later today but um, I'm gonna go do some things before, th before that. I'll talk to you guys in the next vlog. Bye.